SpaceX's super heavy Starship rocket splashed down in the Indian Ocean Tuesday after its sixth test flight. President-elect Donald Trump attended the launch with SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. The rocket is part of NASA's Artemis program, which hopes to have astronauts return to the moon as soon as 2026. For more on this, I want to bring in CBS News correspondent Jason Allen, who is near the launch site in South Padre Island, Texas. Jason, this, as we mentioned, is the Starship's sixth test flight. What makes this different from pre previous tests? Lindsay, every single one of these tests is a little step, an advancement toward eventually being the vehicle that carries people up into space. One of the big things they wanted to test today is you remember that dramatic catch that we saw just a month ago. And you can see the tower back here behind me, notably the uh, booster, the Super Heavy, is not there. It wasn't able to return this time. SpaceX kind of set people up for that, telling us in advance that only if conditions were perfect would they again try to return the Super Heavy booster back to the launch stand. But the rest of the flight, and that booster landed out in the ocean, the rest of the flight appeared to proceed really with flying colors with the vehicle getting up into space. They wanted to test its ability to actually fire one of the engines while it was in space. It did that. And they wanted to stress it, come down at a high angle to land in the Indian Ocean and see it do that during daylight hours. All of those things accomplished here in the last about 15 minutes or so. So what makes this the world's most powerful rocket? I mean, how does it work? It is massive in size and scope. Even from where we are across the water, it is impressive to see just how tall it is. You're looking at a booster and a vehicle on top of it that are 400 feet tall. So that's double what we saw with the space shuttle back in the day. The booster itself weighs as much as 14 or 15 fully loaded 747s. It is immense in size and the actual vehicle uh, can carry as many as 100 people. That's important because as founder Elon Musk has talked about, if you wanted to do something like put people on Mars, you'd want to be able to carry as many people as possible. You need an incredibly large vehicle in order to do that. Nobody has been on board yet, but it did carry its first payload today, Lindsay. It was a banana, mm. a stuffed banana, a play on the old meme of Here's a, a, a banana for size or, or for scale. So they had a banana in there today as their first payload. So you kind of touched on it, but what are the end goals of this? End goal is, is again, to create something that can carry us back to the moon and then eventually to Mars. Every single one of these tests is a step toward getting there. What they need to be able to demonstrate is that they can do this repetitively, that they can get the vehicle up in the air, that they can land the booster again, that they can refuel it quickly, something they wanted to try to do today, but they weren't able to, and then get it back up to refuel a vehicle that's already there. Exactly how long that's going to take, we don't know, but SpaceX has talked about potentially seeing as many as 400 launches in a year, maybe even by the end of President Trump's second term. Wow, Jason Allen, thank you so much.